Hello and welcome back to the Raw Code Academy. I'm your host, David Flanagan. We're continuing our complete guide to spin by taking a look at some new features in Spin 1.0. This is a huge milestone for Spin. Reaching 1.0 gives us all some assurances that Spin is now ready to use in production. In today's video, we're going to focus on what I personally feel is the coolest feature. What is that feature? OCI Registry Support. You can now package your spin applications as an OCI artifact and push it to an OCI registry, like Docker Hub or GHCR. And while this is cool as it is, there's a few other things that we can do with these artifacts too. And you'll see them by watching the rest of this video. Let's take a look. So what do we have here? This is a very standard, unedited spin new project using the Rust SDK. I haven't modified anything. This is just printing out Hello Fermion with an HTTP header of foo bar. Again, I haven't touched anything. All I ran was spin new. From here, we can run spin bill. And because I've already compiled it, it's super fast. We can now run spin up. And now if we pop over to the browser, we will see our application is running on port 3000 and says Hello Fermion. We can even see the logs in our console. So what is the next stage? Let's build and push an OCI artifact. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to run just push. Inside of this directory, I have added a just file. And don't worry, we'll take a look at it in just a moment. When we run just push, you'll see that this is a spin registry push command, which takes a tag of ghcr.io slash rockcode slash spin dash hello colon v1. I have now built an OCI artifact, an OCI image, and pushed it to GitHub's container registry. Don't believe me? Well, let's pop over to GitHub and refresh. And you'll see that I pushed this image seven minutes ago. Awesome. So let's make a change and re-push our image. We'll go over to the code. We'll say hello world, like so. So now that we've modified that, Let's pop over here, and this time we'll just run the registry command ourselves. We'll do registry push, ghcr, raw code, spin hello, only this time we'll call it v2. What we should see is that we got a different hash and two content addressable releases available on ghcr's webpage. Pop back over to the browser and hit refresh. And now we can see we have v2 pushed a moment ago. Okay. But what can we do with our OCI image once it's in an OCI registry? Well, let's run just spin up. Now, as you'll see, when I hit return, the command is a slightly modified spin up. And in fact, I don't even need to be in this directory to run this image. We're using spin up dash F, which is telling it to go to ghcr.io slash rockwood slash spin hello v1. This pulls down the artifact and runs it locally. And again, if I go to my browser, we get hello fermion. But let's change this and run spin up dash f gcr raw code spin hello v2. And again, it'll run on port 3000. And when we reload, we get hello world. So we now have the ability to consume our spin applications stored as OCI images inside of an OCI registry. And that is pretty cool. So let's take it one step further and see something cool that Docker also announced recently. This is a spin application using Bartholomew. Bartholomew is a CMS for WebAssembly. We can take a look at the spin.toml and see that this is just your standard spin.toml. It points to a WebAssembly module, in this case, modules Bartholomew. We also have a Docker file from scratch, copy everything, and the entry point is the WebAssembly module itself. So let's do docker image build dash t example like so. Now I've already built it to speed it up, but it does normally take a few seconds. Now that we have a standard Docker container image built now, we can do Docker container run, runtime equals container D, spin V1, mapping the port, like so. And we want to run the example image that we have just built, like so. Then we can come back over to our browser and hit refresh. And now we see the Bartholomew example from the Docker documentation 
of building and running spin applications. It has never been easier. Now, I just want to show one more thing from the Docker support because it doesn't stop at Docker image build and Docker container run. You can actually add a Docker compose.yaml with any dependent services that you have. Here we have a database of Postgres and we're also pulling down our example image and giving it the runtime information as part of the spec. Meaning we can now do Docker compose up like so. And we'll see the database logs as it begins to initialize. But if we pop over here and refresh our website and then go back to the terminal, you'll see the requests come in just like any other Docker compose app. Sweet. Okay. Let's finish this off with something even cooler. Because our spin applications can now be shared as OCI artifacts, we can hook in to other tools that work with OCI artifacts. And here I'm talking about cosign. What if we can actually sign our spin applications that we ship as OCI artifacts? So let's try it. Let's do cosign sign GHCR raw code spin hello v1. This will pop open a browser, allowing me to connect with GitHub and sign our image with those credentials. So we can click yes on that and the signature will be pushed. So let's verify the signature. So let's run cosign verify ghcr.io slash raw code slash spin hello v2. And we just need to add a few flags because we used keyless signing, which means we have to say that the certificate identity was me, like so. And that the certificate OIDC issuer was HTTPS github.com slash login slash OAuth. And make sure you spell all the, all the things correct. Certificate. Now we didn't sign V2, so we get an error that no matching signatures were there, which is what we expect but I like to show it not working before we show the shiny. So now V1. And the signature is actually correct, but I signed it with David at rockcode.academy and not David at rockcode.dev. Quick fix later. Clear the screen so it looks like magic. And now we have everything from the transparency log that assures us that this spin application has been signed for by me and it's the same one that is available on the OCI registry. Awesome. So that's it. Since Spin 1.0, you can now build, ship, and run your Spin applications as OCI artifacts. This allows you to hook in to all of the existing tooling in that space, like Docker Desktop, Docker Compose, and even Cosign. In a video coming up later this week, we'll be taking a look at taking these OCI artifacts and running our Spin applications on Kubernetes. We'll see you then. Have a great day.